I think we're actually on the same page here. You're saying that once Hamas leaves, you'll you'll grant the Gazan people food, shelter, fuel, electricity, hospitals, schooling. And if Hamas doesn't leave, then they'll continue to starve and die in hospitals. You are defining for the international community right now collective punishment. You're saying until Hamas acts differently, the two million people in Gaza are going to be treated this way. And once Hamas acts differently, these two million people in Gaza will be treated better. That is exactly what collective punishment is. You're holding them accountable for the actions of others. That is the definition, the textbook definition of collective punishment, sir. You may accept that that's what you want to do, but this is absolutely a contravention of international law. We want to open a humanitarian corridor so they can leave. But if Hamas... So that who can leave? So that who can leave? Citizens? You're saying civilians can leave, but only through the Rafah border, correct? At this point, yes. So they can't come... where else? Your country! They can come into Israel! I'm telling you one more thing I want to say. uh, No, no, but I want you to address that point. Don't just smile, sir, respectfully. 